Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Logo Design Bootcamp brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. In this week's episode number five, we're going to teach you how to design a logo based on the letter E. So I had a really crazy week and this weekend wasn't any better. We finally got the leaves up from the ground. There was another seven bags in addition to the other like 40 we've done this whole season. And um, in addition to that, put up the Christmas lights, check it out, all right? I got a lot more to add. We got some more blow-ups we're putting outside, but it's that time of year, so you got to get it up. And I got stuck going Christmas shopping today, and I didn't buy one thing for anybody else. So um, I walked home with a lot of bags, and, and that's a problem. So I have a lot of work to do. But I need to get this video off for you guys to learn from. So I had to go get an energy drink tonight, get some B12 in me, and get myself going. If you've ever seen one of these, this is an energy drink. Now, a lot of us need it for whatever reasons. The next time you go into a supermarket, a 7-Eleven, I want you to look at the major competitors in the energy drink area. And I want you to you know, take a look at the various logos and brands that they've, they've made for themselves. The idea that just sprung on me only a couple hours ago was to create an energy company called 8 Energy, just to keep the E's together, the A for 8 and the word energy. 8 Energy, if you didn't know already, is a fictitious logo I've designed for this tutorial. And in this tutorial, in Adobe Illustrator, you are going to learn today how to work with brush strokes. That's the main focus of this logo today. So let's go. Okay, so 8 Energy was a really cool logo to put together. I really enjoyed it. It's fun. It's uh, it's energetic. It's got a lot of stuff going on. It's, uh, it's kind of loud. But, uh, you know, that's kind of the feel that I think about when I hear en energy drink. You know, I want energy. I want, I want to get crazy. So uh, my last name is Looney. So I automatically have a, a crazy amount of energy. But, you know, like I said, sometimes you just need it. But I'm going to critique this real quick. And then I'm going to show you how to build it in Adobe Illustrator. So this font is actually a free font that I found on the Internet with all these, um, like, generators type of... Of, of things going on. It's a lot of noise, but this this number eight is a, is a, a number that I created, and um, around it is a brush stroke that, you know, I'm going to show you the special effect on. Um, this line right here, this blue line on the top, and this blue dot line on the bottom is also a brush stroke, and these little circular things going on are also brush strokes and the cool thing about it is adobe illustrator has a, a lot of preset brush strokes you could just you know use yourself or on the internet you can find tons of free ones everywhere so um real quick i'm going to talk about the on the logo it's a, it's a well-balanced logo everything's very centered um i decided to make the e and the y larger than all the other fonts because it actually it kind of broke up everything and it 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 made a cool effect on it and I closed it off by using this little bar right here and um, the word drink on the bottom right it throws off you you would think it would throw off the the balance because everything's very centered but it really pretty much works with the whole edge of this logo um, even though it hangs past the Y a little bit but it's 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 I made the inside gradient, the word drink, as the same as energy. So you're basically, it's like a continuing sentence. You're really reading energy drink here. Eight is completely, you may not even see that at first, um, but, you know, it's part of the branding. So uh, you'll eventually figure out that's eight energy drinks. So uh, I'll also put a little tagline on here. Enjoy the next eight hours because that's what it does to you. So. Um, let's get into Adobe Illustrator and I'll show you exactly how to build this. This is going to be a fun one and a good one for you to, to use these brush strokes in all of your design work in the future. All right, so before I show you how to actually build the 8 Energy logo, I'm going to show you real quick how, uh, my, how my canvas actually looks. These are the ideas I was putting together. Um, kind of just started over here with some things and it's like a, it's an evolutionary process you know sometimes you make your sketches but it's you know the end product is is always a little bit different i i kind of got my concept going on over here i threw some colors in um copied stuff over copied uh you know changed things around copied another one and um eventually i kind of pretty much got it to where i wanted it to be which was here and then i threw in this last little accent these these things going on right here uh, in the end. So um, we're going to start by uh, coming over here to the ellipse tool 
and we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make an ellipse and I'm gonna copy that down by hitting option click and we're gonna drag it and we're gonna make it a little bit larger and we're gonna take select these two and we're gonna come to our shape mode and hit unite and it's gonna make one shape right there and we're going to make two more circles because we're gonna make this number eight and we want to delete these areas from this logo so basically you're going to select both right there and you're going to do minus front and you're going to do both here and do minus front again in your pathfinder so that actually made it a number eight shape and um i actually got to move i'm going to back up command z uh, move that a little bit higher select both again and minus the front okay uh i'm going to come to my type tool i'm going to type in the word Actually, hold on. I'll do energy after this. Um, I'm going to select the gradient over here so I can get the same color gradient that I had. And the cool thing is I'm going to introduce you to brushes. If you've never used brushes in Adobe Illustrator before, is you're going to come up here to the brushes. And on the top right, you're going to come down to Open Brush Library. And Adobe Illustrator has a bunch of presets already loaded into the program. You can see like arrows, uh, you know, artistic ones, borders, all different types of stuff. So I dabbled around and found some stuff in art in the artistic area, and you got to kind of mess around and, and and look for stuff in here. But basically, whatever stroke I put on this number eight, which in this case, if you look over here, is this cyan color. Whatever I do to the stroke, like basically, if I if I increase the weight, you know. That's a basic stroke, but I can I can actually put effects onto these strokes by clicking any one of these brushes that are a part of the program. So basically, I'm going to pick a brush that kind of looks like this right now, and I'm going to lower my point size. My point size is actually one point. I'm going to bring it down to a quarter point, and that's how we get the effect on that number eight. Now, if you right now it's actually just a brush stroke if you really want to be able to edit the points on this stroke you're gonna to have to select this whole number eight and you're gonna to have to come up to edit this is very important so definitely put this in your memory bank path outline stroke and now you're gonna see if I zoom in you're gonna see all the points on this stroke this is actually a grouped uh, selection so to take the number eight out of the middle you have to click this and un right click and ungroup or come to object ungroup which is shift command Z and you're gonna pull that number eight away and now you got the stroke so just to let you know that little tidbit I'm gonna hit command Z to back up all right uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a, a white box over the front and in the end I actually have this white box cut out from this but I'm, we're just gonna hide it for right now purpose of this tutorial and I'm gonna create I'm going to come over here to the line segment. I'm going to make two line segments. And I'm just going to fill these with, uh, I'm going to actually come up to here, fill these with cy that cyan color. And I'm going to come to an option click and drag straight down to make two identical lines. And I'm going to click both of these, come into my brushes. And here's another one that I like to use. It's kind of like a cool little uh, a messy brush right there. And we're going to come up to the type. We're going to type this word energy. E N E N E R G Y. And we're going to change this to the font that I found on the internet, the free font. So, all right. I'm going to make the E and the Y larger by coming up to here and just going up to 36 points. And I'm going to do the same thing with this with the Y and I'm gonna put that like so right in the center now just to modify this a little bit I'm gonna make this white box a little bit higher and I'm gonna make sure these blue strokes are right on the edge because it's gonna that's what kind of separates it it makes it makes it fun this logo and we're gonna increase this word a little bit the cool thing about this word energy is it actually has its own style on it already so you don't really have to add any brush brush areas to it um, we're gonna come to the, we're gonna select this word and we're gonna go to object create outlines uh, excuse me type create outlines which is shift command O on the keyboard 
And now we can fill the middle of this with a gradient. So I'm going to come to my eyedropper, which is also I on the keyboard, and we're going to click in the word. And I'm just going to move my gradient just a little bit. All right, that's not working. All right, so Illustrator just bombed on me, so I'm back in here. Um, and so I have my gradient on the E, and uh, if you notice, this line on the top now is a little bit shorter. It accommodates for this area, and this uh, fills out the whole area over here. We're going to type in the word drink. Jeez. There we go. Um, and we're going to change that font. We're going to create outline, shift, command, O. All right. Remember these keyboard commands. I just put out a video on keyboard commands, so definitely learn these. All right, that's the word energy drink. I mean, you can even get this in here. And we're going to come up here. And now what next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this circle right here um, with these little bubbles that go around. And the way that we do that is we just get an ellipse, just like in the beginning, and we make a circle there. And we are going to fill that with nothing. And we're going to come over here to our brushes and another free brush. It looks like these little bubbles. I'm going to make sure my stroke is white. So my stroke is black right now. We're going to change it to white. And we're going to make this just about 25% uh, point, uh, excuse me, a quarter point. And we're going to take our transparency nice and low, like 40%. And I'm going to even rotate that a little bit just to kind of get that on there. All right. Now all I'm going to do is option click and we're going to shift this bad boy down, which did not work. Let me do that again. Option click. That's why, because I didn't do it right. And, and I need to make sure you see it's going over the word energy. So I need to take the word energy, click it, and I need to come to object, arrange, bring to front or shift command end bracket or close bracket. And now it's above it. Watch if I back up, you can see it's there. I'm going to move forward again. And now it's not there. Uh, the very last thing we're going to do is we're going to create another ellipse. And we're going to hit the type tool, type on a path tool, because this is a path. We're um, going to just say tagline goes here. And we're going to change that to a basic font and make it a little bit smaller. Now hit escape to close out that selection and you need to come to your direct selection and hit the letter A and you need to grab this point right over here or any one of these points that are sticking out. You got to kind of uh, experiment and play around. Pull the point from the outside to the inside. You see how I'm going from right to left and it's putting the words inside but it's very very uh, finicky. So if you move it just a little bit, it'll pop out of the circle. I'm going to let go there. I'm going to make sure the fill on our word is white. I'm going to put that a little bit lower. Uh, I'm going to mess around with the shape of the circle to kind of get it on the angle I want. And voila, that is the 8 Energy Drink logo in CS6 Illustrator. All right, so that's it for episode number five, the letter E. I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a really important one with the brush strokes. I swear, every, ever since I started using these, I've incorporated them in layouts, flyers, uh, website work, banners, everything. And it's it's going to be something that's going to enhance that your, your skill set, your tool set. So if you like what you saw today, click subscribe on our channel. Every time we make a video, we do it this once per week, every weekend, every Sunday. And they'll shoot right to your email. Definitely subscribe and, and get with us on, on Twitter and Facebook to see what else is going on. Any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll get right back to you. Uh, I want to make sure that you have no complications that you learn this stuff. So I'm just sharing my knowledge and uh, hoping you guys and, and ladies can uh, learn from it. So I'm Steve from graphicdesignertips.com. Have an awesome night. Peace.